Welcome my dear students to week 10. In this week we will start to talk about habitats, niche and species interaction. We will talk about how the, all of the animals work together or stay in a specific place where they call it home or they call it habitat. Our learning objective during this week that we will talk about uh, how competition shapes communities, how they identify the factors that determine and describe the habitat and niche, how do they are different, how they are alike, and the uh, um, shapes of the community about herbivores, how do they work together, how, do they are, how they are joined together. We will mention about the keystone species and how, what they are the effect of them inside a community. And uh, we will talk also about the three primary ways organisms depend on each other and about the relationship between them all, how do they are linked and how do they uh, w uh, live together. Habitat, when we talk about habitat, habitat is an area with a particular competition of physical, uh, physical and biological environmental factors that affect which organisms can live within it. So it's, well, it's like talking about home. Uh, microhabitats and microbiomes, uh, these are the types where you can find a plenty of types, different types of animals or microorganisms that they work together in a specific relationship between them, whether they are competitive or they have um, mutualization or uh, predation. So we will talk about each one of them in detail. When we say microhabitat, microhabitat is a tiny part of a much larger habitat. Micro means small. So it has its own set of environmental condition that's called microclimate. Also, again, micro means a small climate mean the conditions or the environmental conditions in there. Microbiome is a, micro, is a microbial community which is that contain microbes inside it. Tolerance, when we talk about tolerance, especially in a graphs or in biological graphs to be exact, is the, the range of an external condition within a species that can be able to survive and to reproduce together. As you can see, uh, in the other hand, we would talk about the niche. Niche is a, uh, like species in uh, Niche is an, a range of a physical and biological condition in which it can survive for a specific animal, they can reproduce, as well they can obtain resources they need to survive, water, food, and uh, a shell, uh, like shelter. So these are the things that has to be found to be able to be called a niche. When we talk about animals, and when we talk about their... Um, how do they work or they, how do they survive with each other? We talk about the competitive ex, uh, exclusion and how do they compete with each other to have a specific function or have a specific relationship within, within the both of them. So uh, when we talk empathetic, uh, uh, sorry, competitive exclusional principles that they, we have two species that can occupy a specific or the same niche, but they are competing on a, as these habitat in the same place. So it's uh, no two species can occupy exactly the same niche in exactly the same habitat at exactly the same time. So they have to be, have a competitive uh, relationship between them. Uh, dividing resources. Now, if they have, if, if we have like two or three different type of animals that live in a specific niche or a specific habitat, somehow they can divide the resources to a certain limit before they are actually competing for it. So within this chapter, we will talk about the predator-prey also relationship, how they affect each other, uh, the types of animals where they are herbivores, which is depending on the size, the growth, the distribution, if they can survive or not. And mainly we will talk about the keystone species and what they are. Keystone species, they play a vital and a unique role in maintaining structure, stability, and diversity in an ecosystem. Thank you.